I thought I'd do a video today on like recycling and not doing some old jars to make like little house ornaments. It's a bit like this one I have here that I've done before. So this is just like a little single portion wine bottle if you know what I mean. And I've literally just put a bit of black lace around it just to hide the little cap at the top as well and blend in. And then just added some really cheap fake flowers. You may want to put nicer ones than me but I quite like these ones. I like the colour. Or you could put real flowers in it's up to you. So like I said, I'm going to show you a few ways you can updo jars. I've got various things to kind of updo them with. The best place to go is a haberdashery. My local one, Abacan, is amazing. Some of the stuff is only like 40 pence a metre. So I've got some ribbon here, some organza of oil, some really nice velvet as well, which is a bit more, but I mean, it's only one pound something a metre. So still not expensive and a bit of twine there. And then I've got the little things... I made these. These are made out of what is called salt dough, which is really, really simple. And you literally just make the dough, cut them into shapes and bake them in the oven. But that one I put a really nice little print on. And then I've got little bows and things like that. I mean, these are only like eight pence a bow, just for something like that. So, so simple. And a few kind of glass beads. I've also coloured a few of the jars as well. I don't know if you can see. That's a slightly pink one compared to, that's a regular jar next to it and that's one that I've slightly pinked. And then that one's a slightly blue. I've accidentally put texture on that one because I did two layers, but I quite like it. It's kind of like a frosted look. But if you want to know the ways I coloured the jars or make salt dough, just let me know in the comments and I can always do videos on how I did things like that. I've also coloured, now you may think this is sand in this bag, it's actually salt. And this is just coloured salt. Dead simple way to kind of make some sand if we go and buy in it. Just buy a big bag of table salt, put a bit of food colouring and give it a mix. So I've got pink and a purple one of those. I've also brought these from the haberdashery as well. So it's just these little hearts here as well. I thought they were really cute. Right, so let's do some jars. So here we are with the finished thing. So I kept the lace trim on those. And I've stuck these ones as candle holders. So I've got the sand in that one. I've got the two layers of sand. I think it looks really pretty. I'm not quite decided what I'm going to do with this one, but I've got the lace trim on there that's glued. And this one, I kind of like the way the organza's kind of done that nice shape with because the weight of the heart. So I really like that one. So that one's obviously a nice little vase there. And then with this one, I think this one's my favourite. So I did the layers of sand there and I kind of kept it a bit messy, just it's a bit different and put a heart on the front. But I wrapped, if you can see, I wrapped the twine, oh no, it's coming down. But I wrapped the twine around the top just to give it that nice little decoration. I really like that one and that one's another vase. And then with this one, the bow looked too much in the velvet. So I've just kind of tied it at the back. You may see kind of extra bit there. I need to sort those out. So that's just another vase as well. And then with one of the little black hearts. So I didn't use all the stuff I had, but that's the thing I've got enough for later for the next time I try and do something. But anyway, I hope that gives you some ideas. 
and thanks for watching guys